Oh, this is gonna be fun. What the heck is this? This looks insane. Two brand new artisan vehicles. I mean, it's a beautiful van. Oh, I can't watch anymore. <laughs> stop, please stop. So are you ready? Drum roll. Good morning, guys. This is a very exciting day. I'm gonna jump in the car and I'll tell you about it. But I'm really looking forward to today. I can't believe this day has finally arrived. Feels like months since I got the ball rolling on these vans and today is the day that we're picking up not one but two new artisan vans. We're basically doubling the artisan fleet today and one of the vans is an electric van. We're stepping in the world of electric when it comes to our commercial vehicles now and I'm really excited to see how it goes. But these vans are kitted out up to the hilt with the most amazing racking. They're sign written, they're gonna be beautiful. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. It makes a huge difference to us if you tap the notification bell as well and then you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. Thank you for joining us for the ride. See you over there. Here they are. This is the caddy. Looking amazing, we'll show you that in a minute. This is the transporter T6. It's electric. I'm gonna show you around that, but the guys are still busy working on it actually. Like it's been quite a, a pain to get all the details right. So they're busy just doing all the little details to make sure that it fits, the floor fits perfectly so that there aren't any big gaps where tools can fall down and stuff. I'll give you a little sneak preview. But I think we've got a couple more hours before these guys are done. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use the time to go and jet wash the Tesla because it's a bit, um, it's a bit dirty. And they've got a wash bay here. I can get the, the car washed and then I'll probably wash the caddy as well. And then we're ready to go and get them on the road. This is where I roll my sleeves up. Take this off so I can breathe properly. And uh, give her a little wash. I think this attaches onto here. You see, I'm not really an expert. Cue epic car wash B-roll. The heck? That is not, not what it's supposed to do. That'll still work, but it's not great. I should be like bare chested and, you know, it should be really a hot sunny day. I should have a nice cold beer, just like tapping it against the side of the car, drinking a beer, washing the car. But no, we're here in freezing cold England and you don't want to see me with my shirt off. Oh, and before I forget, I just want to thank everyone for 100K. We've hit 100,000 subscribers, like a few days ago. Um, by the time this video goes out, it might even be a little while ago, but it's just an epic milestone that I had it as a goal to achieve that by the end of 2021, and we've done it. Like, we did it kind of halfway through December, which I'm really happy about. Um, but it's all thanks to you guys for your support, for coming back, watching the videos regularly, for letting us know in the comments your thoughts about things, for hitting the like button, 
which if you haven't done so yet, make sure you do that. Hopefully you enjoy the content that we're putting out and we want to make more great content for you guys. So if you do appreciate what we're doing, you know, just if you keep watching and if you share the videos out with other people uh, who might enjoy them as well, that really, really helps. But I just wanted to say massive thanks guys because 100K is huge really for us. Um, and it's all thanks to you guys for your support. Right, permission to remove the mask to drink coffee. This coffee, this coffee break is gonna be the decider to whether we come back here for the next set of vans or not. Oh, that smells good. That is proper coffee. You guys can, can definitely do our next round of vans. Yeah, that is awesome. Thank you. I've got a confession to make. Go on. I broke your pressure washer. It was brand new. <laughs> I literally, I don't know what happened, but the, the hose thing, you know where the hose connects? Yeah. It's just like come out and then the water is just going everywhere. So I was I tried to, to, we can add it to your bill, right? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to connect it back in, but the water is just like going everywhere. So I think we need to get a plumber in. Yeah, probably. We do electrics, we, we do car electrics, you do household electrics, we're no, we're no plumbers. Actually, you should have seen his face in the last, he told me he saw the last video with Corey fitting his own LED lights. Our deal yeah. was like mortified. Yeah, if you, if you need an auto electrician, come here, try not to do what they did there, that is not safe. <laughs> Corey said it in the video, he's like, I know that auto electricians are going to be like rolling in their graves right now. And I, I was, me I was. In the comments. When I came back, he was like, I saw that last video. I'm not letting you, <laughs> I'm not letting you butcher your new vans like that. I'm going to put some new lights in for you guys. So he's put proper nice okay. LED lights in these new vans. Properly installed. Oh man, look at <laughs> look. I look so young. <laughs> that is crazy. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the video you've all been waiting for. The new van has arrived. Welcome to the Arsenal Electric van tour. So this was the original van we kitted out, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So this was my pride and joy when it arrived. The first, like, proper big van that I'd had. And, uh, yeah, me and my mate just, honestly, it makes me cringe so much just uh, watching this video because it was literally me and my mate turned up with my, like, DSLR <laughs> and just filmed it. Like, we just parked up in a field somewhere and filmed it. You can see my yeah. reflection and stuff. And it's so, like, shaky. And the music is terrible. <laughs> like, Nathan, sorry for the bad music in this video because Nathan's music choices, Nathan's our editor, his music choices are just amazing. But this was just, like, done. I edited this myself on iMovie, you know. This is when I had like 4,000 subscribers or something. Um, two years ago, I guess. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah it, was, it was May 2019 or yeah, so, roughly. Yeah, yeah, crazy. But yeah, we did the, all the sort of my racking in this one as well, didn't we, so. Yeah, you did deadlocks, roof bars, yeah. pipe. Uh, I think you did the pipe. No, I did the pipe. Yeah, you did the pipe. We, did did, the pipe we put the pipes on these ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because Rhino sent me a free pipe tube pro, actually, for that one. That's yeah. What, um, You know, it's crazy how far sort of both channels have come and both companies have come since since we did that. Yeah. So it's amazing. I look so young. <laughs> this is this is before the grey hairs and the stress from having like ten people working for me. And this was in the back of it, wasn't it? So. Yeah. Oh, I can't watch anymore. <laughs> stop, please stop. <laughs> oh, it's so cringe. One thing I, oh no, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> that music, honestly, it just gives me nightmares. One thing though, our deal's got this, um... seriously. I'll turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> our deal's got this wall of fame, so he's got quite an exclusive um, customer base. He gets some famous people coming in here. Obviously, we are the most famous people he's Obviously. ever Obviously, and you are going up on the wall very uh, soon, so. Yeah, I just totally, to be honest, I was totally um, shocked when he said to me, oh, 
can I have a photo to put up on the wall of fame? I was like, when you see who, who's on the wall, there's no way that we deserve to be on the wall. But it was very kind of him to say that he wanted to put us on the wall. So we'll show you who's on the wall. And there's an insanely expensive piece of equipment next to it that I want to show you as well. Right, so on the wall of fame, we've got uh, Shmi, who's a f famous uh, car YouTuber. Uh, Frankie Dettori, the jockey, uh, with his Ferrari, very nice. Who's this one? That's uh, Jay Cannon. Uh, you've also got Living Life Fast, again, another YouTuber there. Uh, and up here, we've got AB Auto, who's another YouTuber. We just did a dash cam that was recently, last month. And then Wilfred Zaha, so we did a full custom sound system in his car, and he absolutely loves it. It was a lovely, lovely system. So, yeah, so you're also going to be, uh, we're going to get your autograph later, and then you'll also be featured on, we've got a whole new frame ready for you. I hope that we'll be, like, we'll have our own exclusive frame. Yeah, we have, we've got an artisan. artisan frame, basically, that will just have artisan in it. Corey's, Corey's got one as well, so it's going to be me and Corey up there, because, you know, Corey's a big part of the channel, and he actually helped us to design this racking as well, so shout out to Corey for that. But he can't be here today, so I'm going to just fake his signature. <laughs> It'll be worth more that way anyway. <laughs> when you know, in when we're hit a million subscribers, exactly. our deal's going to be rich. I'm going to be selling. I'm going to be selling them. That's all this is all for. Stick it on eBay. And this then, is my yeah. retirement, basically. <laughs> That's quite genius, actually. Yeah. Um, hmm, I might have to think about what I can do for this. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> this is the most cheesy picture I've ever seen of myself. Just down here or something. Yeah, down there's probably best. Probably the coolest time I've ever signed my signature. This is the Corey one, which is the, the picture from him when he did the video about the customer asking him to break in. So that's pretty cheesy as well, to be fair. At least I'm not the only one who gets the cheesy photo. What the heck is this? This looks insane. So this is a one of one. These are completely hand-built. So it's a, basically a 10,000 pound two-channel amplifier. So that would run just a set of tweeters. And we actually, literally yesterday, sold one and it's going into an absolutely stunning car that's actually being shipped from abroad directly to us solely for a custom sound system. But it's I mean, all completely hand-built. And it's nice that you can see all the way through all of the components and it's literally using... This is kind of like the Bugatti of... Amplifiers, so they built it and designed it. The whole remit was basically build the best possible amplifier, and there's nothing else in the market that touches it like, nothing even that comes close. So, can you just stick that in the uh, yeah, transit, that's going into like... yeah, we're taking out the racking and we'll put just one of these in. <laughs> do you ever fit like custom sound systems to vans? Have you, yeah, we have do a lot of trades, we do a lot of vans, obviously. With vans, you're spending a lot of time in your vehicle as well, right? Yeah. You're actually probably spending more time in a van than you are in other cars or at home or whatever. So yeah. we do a lot of systems in T5, T6s, Transits, the whole, all, the, all the van range. So we, we can put this sort of stuff in, in vans too. So mm. on the next car, you know exactly what to do. If we get 10,000 likes on this video, then I'll buy this. <laughs> 10,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. So the car's nice and shiny now. Looks much better. CBS who are doing all the work on our vehicles. I just want to give a little shout out to them. This video isn't sponsored by them, but Ardil, my friend from CBS, he's a great guy. He's done work for us for years on our vehicles. They do high quality work on some beautiful cars. I mean, honestly, some of the vehicles that you see in their showroom sometimes are just amazing. It's been a bit of a marathon getting them to the point where they're at now because I am such a stickler for detail. As you know, when you see our electrical work, these guys are able to work to that standard that I demand um, for my vehicles. So I think that deserves some recognition, really. Um, and they've got a YouTube channel. In fact, they're giving away some amazing stuff. So I'll show you the giveaway at some point because maybe you can win some cool stuff as well. So I've unloaded all the tools from the Tesla over to there, ready to load into the new van. These guys are just finishing it up. Bit of logistical stuff going on at the moment. So I'm going home now, picking up Lisa, my wife. I'm gonna bring her here, then she can take the Tesla home. Then I can take one of these vans home, 
then Max is going to bring me back to here. Max is the cameraman, awesome guy by the way. And then <laughs> he's going to bring me here, then I'm going to drive the other van back home. And that way we bring all of our vans back to my house. It's going to be fun. So this is inside of this magnificent van. It is um, the most luxurious internal van cab I've ever been in. And I'll tell you a little secret. VW have been modifying their vans to kind of feel a bit more like their electric cars. So even though this is not electric, it's a diesel Volkswagen Caddy, top of the line, the cab is very similar to a Volkswagen ID3 or ID4, which I have driven myself, so I can vouch for that. There's a lot of similarities. So are you ready? Drum roll. Do you want to see what's in the back? Let's go. Voila. This is the ultimate luxury in van racking, Sortimo racking. This is the globalist system and we've racked it out in a way that we can be super organized. Every box is gonna have a label on it with a certain item that we use often to store in there. So we've got these boxes at the top, they click in, but they come all the way out. We've got these lids so we can store stuff. We can even put dividers in there if we want to, to compartmentalize it even further. The lid will just stop stuff jumping out in case of emergency, but you can also open this little lid here and then you can access stuff easily as well. The lid clicks on so you can flip it upside down. Nothing's gonna fall out. Really, really cool. These ones are the same, just no lids. These ones are the same, but even bigger. These ones are the tea boxes which are an organizational OCD person's best friend because you can open them up and you can stick all sorts of amazing little bits and pieces into the various compartments. You've got these dividers so you can divide them up as you want. You can shuffle them around, they all come out like that and you can reconfigure it as you want. And with a clear lid, you can see exactly what is going on through the lid. We've got two of those. So in reality, we'd use that for like wargo, screws, all the little miscellaneous bits and pieces that you don't need a lot of, but when you need them, they really save your life. They would go in there. Then under here, we have this amazing drawer. Boom. I love that click. That is such a nice sound. This drawer, it's got a liner. It's divided into three compartments at the moment but we can take the dividers out and have one big drawer. And again, it's just a space where we can store things. Uh, whatever Lee decides he's gonna store in there, I'm sure he's gonna come up with an amazing way of making use of this drawer. And it just is super solid and everything just slides neatly out of the way. And then these, two more massive drawers. The amount of storage space in this van for a tiny little van is absolutely epic. So we can put loads of stuff in here, larger items in the left drawer, which is wider, smaller items in the right hand drawer. Again, they can hold a huge amount of weight, so we don't need to worry. We can load them up to the hilt and then they slide in and everything packs away neatly. We've got a couple of little gaps as well, either side here. So we can slide longer items in there. Um, not quite long enough for like a three meter length of conduit, that's what the pipe tubes are for, but shorter lengths of staff that might be useful from time to time. We can store in there, get them out of the way. Also a tiny little thing, but it's quite a nice detail. These panels, so instead of the traditional ply lining, we've got these kind of honeycomb panels you can just wipe them down so they're super easy to keep clean and they look really nice and neat. Those are the Sortimo panels that go with the Sortimo racking. So overall, 
I think it's pretty beautiful, but I'd love to know your thoughts. Let us know in the comments. The other thing I suppose we should say is this is not your traditional racking setup, yeah? Usually we would have racking either side and then, you know, you'd have a space in the middle. I like it this way because I just figure it's easy to access. You're never gonna put stuff in front of it and it get blocked and all that stuff. So we've sort of tried to think outside the box a little bit on this one, but overall, I think it's gonna work out well. The proof will be in the pudding when we actually start to use it and see if it's practical or not. So we'll do an update in a few months and let you know how it is in the real world. But I think it looks pretty epic. Oh, and one more thing before I forget. This is like the most important part for us as electricians. Let there be light. Now this racking is absolutely amazing. It is the top spec of the racking world. And I'd really like to thank Saltimo for sponsoring today's video. They have really done well in helping us to get the design that we wanted and to bring it to life by getting it all working and rocking and rolling in these vans. Their products are super high quality. And so thanks to Sortimo for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to know more about this Sortimo racking and get some yourself, we've got an amazing discount for code for you. Sortimo very kindly offering 15% of all of their racking on their website. There's a link in the description and a special discount code that you can use to get that amazing discount. These guys at CBS, my friend Ardil, he's got this great YouTube channel. He's got about 5,000 subscribers at the moment, right? So he's got this 10,000 subscriber giveaway. You guys, do me a favor and do yourselves a favor. Go over and subscribe to CBS Automotive's YouTube channel. If we can get them to 10,000 subscribers, uh, I'll show you what you need to do to participate in this giveaway. Basically, you need to follow them on, subscribe to their channel on YouTube, follow them on Instagram. There's a post there where they're doing the giveaway. You've got to share that post and then you'll be in a chance to win a PS5, which is awesome, and this Audison amp that I think is worth about 750 quid. So let's see if we can get them to 10,000 subscribers off the back of this video. That would be awesome. Now, van security is so important these days. There's all this whole crazy wave of van crime where they do this peel and steal thing and they peel your van open and they treat it like a can of beans, which is disgusting. And if you're a person who does that, I think you deserve to be told off by your mother. But these are a way to stop that. So we've got these deadlocks and they lock in. There's a, like a metal plate on the inside as well that they lock into. And it just means that when we leave the van, we lock the dead blocks, it stops the whole peel and steel thing and it just makes it a lot more difficult to break in. Oops. <laughs> uh, are you supposed to? Oh crap, I've actually broken it. <laughs> Seriously. Oh no. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, this is for the, uh, like for, the, for the outtakes part. Yeah, and it, it works an absolute dream. Such a plunker. There's 120 decibels per siren. Per siren, you got three. That is what we want. That ah, we just want to kill those eardrums exactly, if whoever yeah, breaks yeah. in. The thing is, if they, um, if they decide to steal anything, then, then yeah, they deserve, they deserve yeah. what it's going for. I don't want to kill the eardrums for your staff though. So nah, to no. disarm it super quick, do I just unlock essentially? Yeah, then you just unlock. And it'll it'll yeah. go off. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, just so you know, guys, we're gonna just set the alarm off for a few seconds, so you might want to put your fingers in your ears when it goes on. <laughs> Apparently, this is one of the loudest alarm systems you can possibly buy. And the idea is that it destroys the eardrums of anybody who tries to break into your van. But I want to hear it. I want to know if I've got my money's worth <laughs> with this. So I'm going to put these on because I don't want to lose my hearing for life. I'm going to go inside the van sit very still and try and trigger the alarm and see what happens. I'm glad I put these on 
That was loud, even with these on. 120 decibel uh, sirens, three of them. So that's like 360 decibels. I don't know how sound works if it like adds up like that, but it's a heck of a lot of sound. So I'm just gonna do a video with these guys now for their channel. They do videos of all the jobs that they do, a bit like us. Um, so we're gonna have a little walk around and I'll be appearing on their channel. So if you subscribe, then you'll see this little video that I do with them at some point popping up on their channel in the near future, or maybe it's even already live. So this is it, our first ever electric van. It's a VW Transporter, A-B-T-E. And what that means is VW basically send it to A-B-T-E or ABT, however you want to call it, in, I think it's the Netherlands. They basically rip out the engine and they put batteries and electric motors in it. So this is a transporter, like all other long wheel based transporters, T6.1, but it's fully electric. So it's got a 37.3 kilowatt hour battery. It's got 82 miles of range. And for me, that's a little bit scary. So it's gonna be interesting to see whether enough range on this in real life, now that we've racked it out and we've put a roof rack on it and stuff, if it's enough range to actually survive. But let me show you around. As you can see, it's a transporter. I mean, it's a beautiful van. I think it's absolutely stunning. Transporters are the Rolls Royce of the van world, we could say. And we've had it all fully branded up like we did with the Caddy, with all the same kind of color scheme, logos, etc. You can see that we've wrapped the Rhino pipe tubes. So in here we've got Sortimo racking, super high quality, fully crash tested and everything. And these drawers are massive. you could probably fit a whole person in there and slide it back in. We'll have to try it one day with our apprentice, Ruben. We've got another drawer here, which we can use for various tools and equipment. Tea boxes where we've got all little compartments where we can fill them with loads of bits and pieces. Boxes that we can use to store sockets, switches. We've got our pipe tube pros up here, which are fully plastic lined pipe tubes, which means that when you put your conduit and stuff in, it doesn't get all scratched up and marked which some of the metal pipe tubes, you get that problem. So in here, there is a huge amount of space. I kind of think like there's enough space actually that this could be a camper van still. Like you could put a double mattress there and you could basically sleep in it. So you never know, might try it, go down to Cornwall do a bit of a camping trip but it's a functional van as well so we've got these hooks that we can actually use to strap stuff down so if we've got like uh, an oven in the back or something that we're trying to transport or a washing machine or whatever it might be we can strap that down big drums of cable as well we can strap them down and then we've got these two huge drawers here as well which again gives us plenty of space to store loads of tools, cables, equipment, etc. And the back of the racking, we've got perfo sheet installed so that we can actually hang stuff off the back of that. On top of that, we've got all the usual stuff, deadlocks, alarm system. It's all fully kitted out so that we can work safely and not worry about our van being broken into and stuff. So that's it guys, it's been an epic day. This is so momentous for me. Two brand new Artisan vehicles. We doubled the Artisan fleet. One of them is electric. They both look beautiful. CBS sorted us out with some great stuff. The racking is stunning. Don't forget to check that link in the description for an amazing sort of mode discount on the racking systems that they provide. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up as well. It really helps our channel to grow. And if you want to see a deep dive video of 
this van and the other van where we go into more details about the vehicle itself, the specs, how it drives and all that stuff. There's a link up here where you can see those videos. There'll be links in the description too or the cards or whatever that pop up at the end. I can never remember which, which it is. But either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to CBS for all your help and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Thank you.